हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज वरेंदर आई होप कि आप सबको पहला पार्ट अच्छा लगा एंड सब अपने अपने क्वेश्चंस चेक कर पा रहे हैं uh, अब मैं सेकंड पार्ट कर रहा हूं जिसमें हम 62 120 क्वेश्चंस के सॉल्यूशंस डिस्कस करेंगे यहां पे कुछ क्वेश्चंस हैं जो मुझे नहीं आ रहे हैं जो आई एम कंफ्यूज्ड अबाउट दोस क्वेश्चंस आई एम नॉट आंसरिंग देम एंड आई एम लीविंग फॉर यू गाइस टू आंसर दोस इन द कमेंट सेक्शन क्योंकि कमेंट सेक्शन में करोगे तो फिर मोस्ट ऑफ द ऑल ऑफ अस कैन जॉइन दैट कन्वर्सेशन एंड कम टू द कंक्लूजन ऑफ दैट क्वेश्चन ओके गाइस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर पेपर विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच ऑफ योर टाइम एंड इफ यू गाइस आर लाइकिंग माय content please subscribe and like the video okay guys let's start so guys this is our paper let's start it so 61 question dekhiye guys so ye hai grain size sorting is extremely poor in glacial deposits so answer is glacial deposit now next question which one of the following types of grain contains signifies contacts signifies maximum amount of compaction in a sandstone so its answer is concave or concave convex contacts but some are saying its answer is sutured contacts also okay so you guys can discuss this question in the comment section again so next question in a sedimentary rock different proportions of gravel sand and mud sized grains are present what should be the minimum required volume percentage of gravel component component to classify that rock as a conglomerate most of the people are 70 saying 70% but its answer is 30% okay you guys can see this is the exact line which is written in the gary nichols okay again so the person who has said this paper has followed gary nichols book because i have seen these question next question which one of the following biogenic structure can be categorized as a bioresin its answer is boring so again ye same line aapko usme milegi gary nichols mein to unhone same gary nichols follow kari hai in modern ocean basin zoo ficus occur in bethel zone Which one of the following sedimentary structure provides sense of direction of grain movement? Its answer is prod mark. Crystals, crystal fragments, glass fragments, and rock fragments that have been released from pre-existing volcanic rock by weathering or erosion and transported from their place of origin by air, water, or dust are known as. So its answer should be epiclast. <clears throat> Next question: A grain-supported carbonate rock with integral spaces occupied by clay and fine silt side particle is called pack stone. Next is your epsilon cross stratification is a characteristically formed in its answer is meandering channel. So this is again from Gary Nichols. Debris flow products generally assume which one of the following geometries? so guys here again i am not sure about this answer okay so you guys can answer this one in comment section which one of the following features bear the unequal significance of the aeolian deposits so its answer is your regular alteration between grain fall and grain flow strata so this is again from gary nichols okay all calcium carbonate sediments with their original mixed mineralogy after digestion get transformed into aragonite you can check it in book also the odds oldest known bird fossil is from late jurassic of germany speciation occurring in planktonic microorganism on either side of a land barrier created due to closing of some ocean gateway is an example of i have no idea so answer this in the comment section again 75 there are so i am weak in paleontology so i am not going to do these questions so again so its answer is first one pigidel punctuated it shows punctuated equilibrium so it's a is the correct answer here 76 exogastric cephalopoda exhibits so i am not sure but if i have to go i will go with the venter on the inside and dorsum on the outside because at the end they started coiling also so i think cb is the correct option here so which one of the following is an example of brachiopod with strophic shells its answer is visbella <clears throat> which one of the following lamella branch genera is not found in recent time pecten this question you have to match them so its correct option is your a because concordance neogenea the that is for sure okay 
so you guys can match them so correct option is a 80 question which one of the which one among the following is a middle pleistocene hominine species so its answer is paranthropus robustus which one of the following early horses were grazer parahippus which one of the following statement regarding application of foraminifera in understanding paleoceanography is in paleoceanography is not correct. So, if you don't have any questions about foraminifera, then you can do it just with oxygen. When the oxygen was glaciation, it was less than 18 or less than 18. So, its answer is C. So, C is the correct answer here. Which one of the following is not a Cordetalian leaf fossil. <clears throat> okay, guys. So, this answer is Euro, Europhylum. Next question. The ostracods of the order Paleocopedia dominated the Paleozoic but were almost wiped out at the end of the permanent. Now, they are represented by the lone enigmatic genus. Okay, again, I'm going to skip this question. This question, I think this is the easiest question they have asked in the examination and its answer is D. The rock formation deposited at the same stage of the earth evolution history are known as homotaxial. The principle that faces which occur in the confer conf conformable vertical successions of the strata also occur in the laterally adjacent modern environment is known as Walther laws of faces. <laughs> Which one of the following is an example of an error? Sinozaic. So, here we arrange to arrange it. If you don't know anything about the stratigraphy, then also you can answer it. Because we know who is the recent one. Shivalik is and the most recent Shivalik is the option. So, A is your correct answer here. The stratigraphic position of Koshalgarh limestone is above the Alvar and below the Ajabgad. So, this is your right answer here. Question number 91. Consider the following quartzite rock formation of India. Stratigraphic order may arrange karna. Hai. You have to Rilkonda, Sirisalam, Gulcherium. So Gulcherium is first. So this is your correct option. 3, 1, 2. Vindian supercoop consists of lower Vindian and upper Vindian. Which one of the following statement regarding Vindian supercoop is not correct? The Kamir group. Kaimur group is dominated by calcareous rock and preserved stone. No, this is wrong. So this is your answer. Which one of the following fossils is reported from both Kaladgi group and Vesalus from Semri group? Its answer is Colenia. B is your answer here. Consider the following statements regarding UMB and MMB. <clears throat> UMB is older than MMB. No. It is not older. So first, to hoi nahi sakta, to A or C hamara khatam ho gaya. Let's read three part. Both MB I have yielded different answer. Yes. So answer is two and three. <laughs> Question number 95. Consider the following statement regarding island arcs. They are long curved chains of oceanic island landforms. Island formed by intense and pure relatic volcanism. Yes. They are long curved chain of oceanic island formed by intense and no most island organic arc island arcs originate on the oceanic crest between the ocean crest. Yes, so answer is your one and three. The lower Cambrian trilobite red lichia is known from okay, it is from Neobolus shale. So here you have to find mineral and correctly matched ore mineral. So nickel pentel and I take it. An interlacing of mineralized winlets traverse host rock is known as stock work. Next is your which one of the following terms refers to the precipitation and growth of minerals in the veins exhibiting a banded appearance? It is crustification. Which one of the following mineral assemblages refer to black ore associated with curoco type deposits? It's curoco type at the galena. Oga. The answer should be this one. So, Galena is option me option. Which one of the following statements regarding alluvial placers is not correct? Okay, let's read them. Alluvial placers are formed due to meandering of rapidly flowing streams. This is totally wrong. So, we will read this answer. Hai. Consider the following statements regarding alterations during mineral deposition of formation. Let's I am not going to answer this one because I am not sure about this. 
So you guys can answer this one in the comment section. <clears throat> Let's move to the question number one zero three. You have to match stratiform chromite, copper, nickel, sapphire, pegmatite, and layers of so pegmatite. जब भी आ जाए तो late magmatic injection होता तो C का two हो गया ठीक है तो पहले ही let's start shortlisting C का two A or C can be your answer. Let's do another one also. Okay, stratiform chromite. Okay, residual नहीं late magmatic तो हो चुका है liquid मिश्रण नहीं early magmatic yes stratiform chromites are early magmatic. So A का four. So A four. This is your correct answer. One zero four. Consider the following statement regarding formation of metasomatic mineral deposits. ओके मैफिक अल्ट्रा मैफिक इंट्रूजिव्स आर कॉमनली एसोसिएटेड विद मेटासोमेटिक डिपॉजिट एस दे कैन एक्सपेल लार्ज क्वांटिटी ऑफ मिनरलाइज्ड फ्लोइड कंपेयर टू नो नो दिस इज रॉन्ग कार्बोनेट रॉक्स होस्ट मेनी मेटासोमेटिक कंपेयर टू यस दिस इज राइट सो ओनली टू इज राइट under tropical and subtropical weathering conditions rocks such as dunite and peridotite undergo laterization which one of the following silicate minerals found in such a so its answer is granite <clears throat> which one of the following statement regarding coal is not correct so this question is very simple you guys can answer it on your own okay next question consider the following statements regarding petroleum reservoir and cap rocks so here they have given clays has low porosity so clays have high porosity this is again first is wrong most suitable reservoir rocks are sand and sandstones okay so this is true let's move to the third one shale and clay are pervious no clay are impervious so only two is right question number 108 Diamond, barite, bauxite. So we have to match them. Okay. So we know that diamond we are getting from Madhya Pradesh. So not from Amarkandam. We are getting from Mahajan. So A is with four. So option A or B both can be correct. So now we have to do one more. Let's do with barite. Move with the barite. So from where we are getting barite? Barite we are getting from Andhra Pradesh. So Andhra Pradesh का एक ही option है. So B two. So correct option is B. Answer is your B. The pore water pressure at the water table in an unconfined aquifer is equal to the atmospheric pressure. The amount of water held in the soil after wetting and subsequent drain has become negligibly small. is called field capacity. Consider the following statement regarding effective porosity of the rock. Okay, so effective porosity is the porosity available for fruitful good. Effective porosity arises due the due to the interconnected pore pressure. Yes. For unconsolidated porous media, porosity and effective porosity always have different values. No, this is wrong because for unconsolidated porous media, your porosity and effective porosity they can be same for some formations, some scenarios. Okay, so they have used the word always. So this is wrong. So answer is one and two. Consider the following statement regarding aquifer property. Hydraulic conductivity is a function of properties of the porous media and the fluid passing through. Yes, this is right. Intrinsic permeability is a function of the fluid. No, this is wrong. Intrinsic permeability is a function of the properties of the porous media. Yes, this is wrong. So correct option is one and three. Again, this is a very simple question. You have to match them only. So porosity, we know that it is volume over volume. It is dimensionless. A is with the two. So we have left with the two options B and C. Now let's move to the another option. So <clears throat> specific storage. If we talk about specific storage, here only one by L. Okay, so one by B. So this is L inverse. So B is with one. So option is C. A B sorry B is your correct option. So average interstitial velocity of sand with effective porosity of twenty five percent is equal to. So guys, most of the students are dividing it with one by four. They are saying it will be one by four. No, if you see Todd and read it in book, so they have directly written this line with effective porosity. It is three times of the Darcy velocity. Okay, so they have related average interstitial velocity. They have given a relation. V alpha is equal to three V. Okay, so you guys can see in that book also, which one of the following statement regarding Darcy law is correct? Darcy law, Darcy velocity is proportional to the square of no square. So, आता ही नहीं है कुछ. तो दाग. Again, square root they are using. This is again wrong. Darcy velocity is directly proportional to the hydraulic. Yes, this is right. So C is your correct answer. Reynolds number, inertial by viscous. ये तो याद ही कर लो. हर बार पूछा जाता है. 
So which one of the following is correct about non-carbonated hydrogen? Non-carbonated total. Yes, this is right answer. Okay. In application of the stable isotope, the groundwater, the estimated relative fraction is expressed as. So I'm not sure about this question, but if I have to choose, I will go with diffusion deviation parts per thousand. So which one of the following does not come under spreading methods? Basin, stream, channel, dish, and flow method. Excess pumping is your correct answer here. Which of the following statements regarding artificial recharge of the groundwater system is our correct? It neither maintains nor augments the groundwater reservoir. This is wrong. It combats saline water intrusion. Yes, this is right. It combats advanced conditions like progressive lowering of the groundwater level. Yes, this is right. So correct answer is your D. So guys, agar aapko mera solutions achche lage and if you have liked my content and if you have enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Or jin questions mein aapko doubt hai, jahan yaha lagta hai ki mera question kaan se galat hai, please comments mein batayin mujhe so that we can discuss and I can update those questions in the description. Thank you guys, support and please subscribe my channel. Thank you.